Hello everyone. Today we have an interview with Pete Orenich, a computer programmer who is developing an online Lemco English translator. Stay tuned to find out more. Let's try it. It's my Lemco side. All right. So, Petra, how are you doing today? Good. How are you doing, Marco? Good to I'm see doing, you. Nice to you too. Um, so, let's cut right down to it. So, uh, Sounds good. So, can you tell uh, our viewers uh, where are you from? I was born in Annapolis, Maryland. Go okay. Navy. I'm sorry? Go Navy. That's Go the, Navy. Uh, the hometown <laughs> of the Navy football team. Yeah. Nice. So uh, it was like your like, parents also from there? My mom was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, like, like Andy Warhol. Okay, nice, nice. What, so where do you work and, like, and what is your profession? I'm a computer programmer and I work for a local technology company. Okay. Uh, now, what is your... Uh, your connection to like Lemco, Lemcovina, like, do you know where if like your ancestral villages or do you know, like if, if like your grandparents or great grandparents came overseas from, from the old country? My great grandparents immigrated from the old country to, to America. And the villages were Zahochevye, which is by Hochev, which is by Sanok uh, in Lesko County. I don't know if that rings a bell. A little more towards Zakopatia, Potkarpatia. Wait, did you just say Zahochevye? Yeah. No, that's I crazy. Did. That's where my grandfather's from too. What? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> You're kidding me. Yeah. Wow. That's weird. That's, really, that's weird. a really small village. Wow. Okay, so I got to ask this. Um, do you know uh, what his last name was? Absolutely. Arenich. Yeah. My grandfather, who is from Zakochevia, uh, his name was uh, Kalutz. I didn't see any of those like in my immediate family tree, but sure. now I'll definitely keep an eye out for it. You never All right. know. All right. So in layman's terms, um, what does the AI translation project uh, work that you do? Like, can you just go into like layman's terms of like what's involved with that? Yeah. I mean, right now you, you put in Lemco text and it spits out English. And okay. as of this week, vice versa, but it's still a work in progress. Okay. So like, say if you like, uh, have a text, like say a paragraph, you're, if you're reading on like a, a website with like Lemco text, you could just like copy and paste, or is there like a certain like limit that you can put, that you only can do like a sentence at a time? Yeah, basically you can copy and paste into the thing. You can do it now and it'll, uh, it'll translate from Lemco into English. Right now it's limited to a thousand characters that go, but, um, if you need more, just let me know. I can do it on the side on my own without the limit. No problem. Where did it come from, like, this idea to, to do this? They always say uh, when you're a computer programmer, when you're learning to be one, to yeah. automate your, your day job. And that's basically what I did. I was working as a full-time uh, translator from Ukrainian to English, Russian to English, Polish to English, and Lemco to English. And um, I was working for Google Translate on one of their projects. And I was like, oh, how cool would it be if this thing did Lemco too? Yeah. Um, and I knew Google would never go for it because that's not what they're, they're trying to accomplish. But um, they put all their code, they made it open source, and... Uh, I just dove right in. Look at that. Yeah. And I think it's like, that's like a, such like a important thing to do just because like, it's not always easiest for English speakers to like, look at Lemco compared when compared to like, if it's there, if they know Ukrainian or Polish or like Russian, but yeah, so that's, <laughs> so how did you uh, learn Lemco? Like at work, I work. Okay. Um, I was project manager on a large Lemco to English translation project uh, and okay. vice versa. And so just, it was my bread and butter for months over a course of several years. Yeah. Did you grow up speaking some Lemco with the parents or, or that was more of like your parents speaking with their parents? The story as it got handed down to me, maybe you have a similar one was that um, my grandparents would speak the old, our language um when they didn't want the kids to understand ah. so not a lot got filtered down uh through that way but um i did learn the language uh at work professionally yeah so it basically is translating lemco to english does it also do english to lemco as of this week yeah um it's 80 percent done all the parts of speech are done 80 percent of them i'm just it's just missing it's missing the uh the nouns and the verbs so once i wire those in they're there they're just not wired in yet Right, right. It'll, uh, yeah, but it, it works. Yeah, it's operational, right? Okay. Is there any like future plans with the service? 
I'm most interested in um, text to text translation because that was that's my, been my profession for the last 20 years. Yeah. Um, other people are interested in like chatbots, um, virtual reality. There's a lot of other applications. My personal interest is in text to text translation between like, let's say, Lemko Polish and English and maybe yeah. standard Ukrainian to some extent. Um, also, I'd like to expand it to other like uh, Karpetha Rusin um, dialects spoken in Slovakia, for example. That would be that would be my next step, unless somebody wants to step in and fund something else. But that's where <laughs> I'm going to take it next. Now, so you said you learned Lemko or a good deal of Lemko at your work, correct? Correct. So, do you think you would all you would also learn from your work the other like uh, I guess the variants of Rusin, the Karpatha Rusin, or would you have to probably? Go off, go off to like other like I guess sources to learn about that. Oh, how would I? Um, I usually approach it through a natural natural language processing angle. So what I'll do is I'll amass this huge corpus of, for example, Karpatha Rusin text uh, from Slovakia, and then do statistical analysis to find out where I'm going to concentrate on, and just just go like that. Yeah, I don't. I don't foresee much of a problem. It's uh, it's pretty s similar to, to what I'm used to. Yeah. What could you say are some of the like the challenges or obstacles when by like, tackling what you doing you're doing right now? Yeah, what we don't have is we don't have any bilingual text. I've got about fifty thousand, sixty thousand words of bilingual text. That's not a lot uh, for artificial intelligence or data science, which requires even millions and millions of words. So what we're lacking now is. Um, just raw data, especially bilingual data. I've got about half a million words of just raw Lemco. Yeah, yeah. That's monolingual, but um, I mean, it's enough. The engine works, but but more is always better. So you you know Lemco because you learned from work. So, but do you also uh, do you speak a little bit like Pesidoyush Panashamo Polemkiuskit Kus? Tak. Um, the problem is I don't speak very much. I'm out of practice. It's been a couple of years since I was at a bar speaking Lemko, uh, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but I, I, it's rusty. I know. I'd love to get back, back into it. Sure, sure. I appreciate the, you taking uh, you uh, taking the time out of your busy work week. And uh, but is there anything uh, that you would like to add? Not that I can think of. Thank you for uh, taking the time out of your week to, to speak with me. And uh, great to meet another person with Roots and Zaho Chevia. I'm curious how we're related. And um, yeah, thanks for having me on your show. Absolutely. Great time. Um, and also one more thing is if our viewers would want to contact you, what would be the best way uh, for them to do so? Best way to get in contact with me is through my website, orenich.com, O-R-Y-N-Y cz.com there's a million ways to contact me on there if you want to send me something in the mail if you want to email me if you want to instagram dm me whatever you want to do it's it's all there on my website all right very cool all and right. you can use the lemco translator there on the website too for free so you're welcome to get your hands dirty with that okay that I, I might have to make i'm going to make good use out of that please do please do and let me know how it goes um anybody wants to try it out i'm open to feedback uh anybody wants to test it out um, don't expect magic until maybe the spring. Sure. The uh, Lemco to English is decent, and the English to Lemco, it's it's it still needs some work. So I'm um, I think in spring it'll be in 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 better shape. Okay. Well, Petra, thank you so much, and um, that's going that concludes our interview for today. My pleasure, Marco. Great talking to you. All right, you too. Bye bye.